Placing bird feeders in your garden is a great way to help wild birds and experience the joy that they can bring. We know that choosing the right bird feeder to buy for your garden can be a bit overwhelming. So we've put together this little guide to help you out. In this video, we'll cover the key points to consider when buying a bird feeder, such as feeder type, size, cleanability, and value, plus some advice on setting up your feeder once you've got it. So a vitally important consideration when buying a bird feeder is whether it is easy to clean. Dirty feeders can spread disease, which pose a serious risk to garden birds. To protect the birds in your garden, we recommend cleaning feeders at least once a week, which means you'll want a feeder that is really easy to take apart and reassemble. All RSPB feeders can be fully disassembled and reassembled by hand without the need for any fancy tools or anything. you need to decide on the type of feeder you want to buy. There are four main feeder types available. We've got seed feeders, nut and nibble feeders, suet feeders, and niger feeders. Seed feeders are our most popular feeders, designed to hold sunflower seeds, sunflower hearts, and other seed mixes as well. And these attract a large variety of birds, including sparrows, tit species, and finches. Nut and nibble feeders are a mesh feeder designed for holding whole peanuts and suet nibbles. Whole peanuts can present a choking hazard for young birds, so the size of the mesh is really important for keeping pieces bite sized These feeders are great for feeding tit species, woodpeckers, nut hatches and other species that can cling onto the mesh as well. A suet feeder is a heavy duty feeder that can hold bulky suet balls and cakes. These are particularly popular in winter months as suet is a great high energy food. So these feeders are ideal for birds that can cling onto the bars and feed, including tit species and woodpeckers. Niger feeders are the most specialist of the four. Oil rich Niger seed is beloved by goldfinches, greenfinches and siskins. But its tiny size means it needs a special feeder to hold it. So Niger feeders feature small feeding holes which prevent the Niger seed from draining out while allowing finches beaks to reach in. Your choice of feeder will depend on a number of factors including the birds in your garden. If in doubt, a seed feeder is a great place to start. Once you've chosen the type of feeder you want, it's time to pick a size. When deciding on the size of feeder, you want to consider the number of birds in your garden and how much food you're prepared to be putting out. If you're unsure, a medium sized feeder is a good place to start. So what should you be looking for when searching for a good value feeder? The key thing to consider here is how long the feeder lasts in your garden. So good quality plastic feeders like this RSPB Classic Easy Clean are great value, lightweight, and will be used for many years. The durable polycarbonate tube is UV stabilized, so that means that it won't weaken or discolor in the sun. However, plastic feeders are easily damaged by squirrels. If you have squirrels in your garden, you may want to opt for a feeder with metal components, like this RSPB Ultimate Easy Clean Seed Feeder. The perches, lid, and base of this feeder are made from a powder-coated zinc alloy. It's also worth thinking about aftercare. So the RSPB offer a 90 day no quibble returns policy and free spare parts to keep feeders going for as long as possible. When looking at where to place your bird feeders, it's vital you think about potential predators. Birds feel safest with some cover nearby. So place your feeders at least 1.3 meters off the ground to protect birds from cats and position them a couple meters away from dense bushes or shrubs. This cover gives them somewhere to retreat to if any birds of prey are flying nearby. Adding gardens to your feeder is another great way to improve bird safety and protect your food from other animals. These wire cages can protect smaller birds from predators whilst restricting access from squirrels again and larger birds. Remember, no feeder cage is 100% squirrel proof. While guardians will make uh, accessing your feeders more difficult, small or young squirrels may still be able to squeeze through. Once you have your feeder, you can fill it with food from the bag or use one of these RSPB seed scoops. Remember, birds are cautious creatures, so it may take a little while before they begin feeding at a new feeder. Don't feel disheartened if they don't show up to feed as soon as you put it up. It can take as long as up to a month before birds come to visit a new feeder. 
As the RSPB is a conservation charity working tirelessly to save nature, you can rest assured that bird safety is our top priority when designing our feeders. And that's it, your feeder is ready to go and ready for your first visitors, so happy feeding.